Good afternoon. The idea of education is central to the human civilization. We have been experimenting with many models of education since time in memoria, and it is still being perfected. Today, education is at the cusp of what I call Education 4.0. Education 1.0 was prevalent during the golden period of India when students would go to the Gurukuls and study with very capable gurus of the time. It was a highly personalized and holistic system of education. Education 1.0 was very student-centric, but it was not a highly scalable system. Only a privileged few had the opportunity to learn from such elite gurus. Education 2.0, on the other hand, is the current schooling system that we are all going through. It was created at the birth of the Industrial Revolution a couple of centuries ago because industries needed factory workers and clerks at a large scale. This one-size-fits-all education system was designed for only one purpose, to mass-produce skilled labor. These days, it is used to mass-produce test-takers, not to create inventors, entrepreneurs, scientists, technologists, leaders, artists, sportsmen, and musicians, but test-takers. Education 2.0 is curriculum-centric and not student-centric. Education 3.0 is born in the post-internet digital world where creating and sharing videos is now ubiquitous. Khan Academy, Coursera and many such digital learning platforms where great content from the best teachers in the world is available for every student to learn from without the boundaries of country, school or education board. Today anyone can learn from anyone across the world and the best part is the content is always available at the least cost and at the learner's convenience. Finally, the promise of the internet of democratizing access to information and knowledge is being realized in education. This digital first education 3.0 has redefined the notion of what is a classroom. A classroom today is not just a physical room full of students anymore, but instead a classroom is a device connected to the internet. Millions of students are now learning at their own pace at their own time. Education 3.0 is highly scalable and content-centric. The next questions before us as we ask the right questions are how will education evolve next? What will education 4.0 look like? How will it combine the personalization of education 1.0, the comprehensiveness of education 2.0 and the scalability and quality of education 3.0? How will it take advantage of the digital and AI revolution that has been happening over the last few decades. For me, personally, the most important question is whether post-COVID, we will all go back to the centuries-old pre-digital education system where physical school education and the digital online education will continue to compete with each other. Or will we take this opportunity to create a new hybrid education system that blends the physical and digital constructs of education into a seamless whole as we have done in other domains. The digital revolution the world is going through is unprecedented and far-reaching. In the pre-internet world, our products and services were purely physical. A library was a physical place with lots of physical books organized methodically. Communication was done through handwritten letters sent using postal service. In the post-internet world, the power of digital revolution started to transform every aspect of the human civilization experientially. The search engines replaced our libraries and emails and WhatsApp replaced our postal service. The world shrunk into a village. 
Everyone is now free to share and consume knowledge from this amazing thing called the internet. Over the last decade, we have started to see the blending of the digital and the physical world, the birth of what we call the digital physical ecosystems or digital systems. For example, when we order products online, we do some things digitally such as searching the products, reading their reviews, adding them to cart, paying for them and then the products get delivered physically to our doorstep. Similarly, when booking a cab, we choose the destination, the cab type and make payments and give feedback on the ride digitally through an app, but the actual ride is physical in nature. This digital physical ecosystem is possible because of the seamless and natural integration of the digital and physical worlds. The key principle in creating such digital ecosystems seems to be that whatever can be done digitally should be done digitally and only whatever needs to be done physically should be done physically. And the physical and digital worlds should be blended seamlessly to complement each other and not to compete with each other. So what the hybrid education system or education 4.0 as I call it might look like. In the old world, we used to divide school into classwork and homework. In the new world, we will divide school into digital mode and physical mode. There are three parts to education 4.0. The first part is digital only. The second part is digital physical and the third part is physical only. Let us consider them one by one. Today with the help of devices, cloud, connectivity and technologies such as AI, we can now create a fairly sophisticated digital learning platform that can do three things to personalize education at scale. First, curriculum personalization. Second, practice and assessment personalization. And third, content personalization. Today, each student learns the same concept at the same pace as all the other students in the class, irrespective of whether she has mastered all the prerequisite concepts or not. In curriculum personalization, every child need not learn the same thing at the same pace as everyone else. Each child on any given day is at a unique stage of her learning journey. The state of learning of a student is based on her cumulative activities and outcomes on her cumulative practice and assessments. Using this state of learning, AI can suggest what the student is ready to learn next. Such AI systems can easily carve out a unique and the most efficient learning path across all concepts in a subject for every child on the planet. Eventually, every student will learn and master the same high level of mastery across all the concepts, but the pace and the journey they will take to get there can be very different. Today, each student in a class gets the same homework and same assessment. The practice and assessment personalization ensures that each student is given the unique next problem based on her current state of learning and how she solved previous problems associated with this concept. The efficiency and precision of practice can go up significantly if AI is allowed to generate the next best problem for each student in an adaptive practice mode. This will take each student through a carefully crafted journey of breadth, depth and complexity into the concept, a journey from knowledge to application and from application to analysis and from analysis to retention of the concept. Today each student in a physical classroom has to learn from the same teacher, irrespective of whether the student's learning style and pace 
matches the teacher's teaching style and pace. The third content personalization engine can recommend the right content to each student by matching the learning style of the student with the teaching style of the content. The sequence of content orchestrated by an AI model is learned from content personalization of millions of students across the planet. Together, the three AI-based personalizations of curriculum, practice and assessment, and content form the foundation of the digital part of Education 4.0. Now let's consider the physical part of Education 4.0. Here we blend the digital learning of the student with the physical classroom learning in a very unique manner. Today, in traditional schools, each class is divided into a number of sections and these sections remain static throughout the year. What if we can do dynamic sectioning per day? Welcome to hybrid education. Students' state of learning is evolving on the digital platform based on her content consumption and performance on practice and assessments. Now AI can group all the similar students together. So all students who have mastered concepts A, B and C and who are struggling with concepts P and Q are, for example, grouped together and so on. These students get notified about their section for the subject and they all gather together in one physical classroom at school. The teacher is also notified about the fact that this group of students have mastered concepts A, B and C and are struggling with concepts P and Q. She can then adjust her focus on these two concepts for this section while teaching another set of concepts relevant to another section of students who are struggling with another set of concepts. This is what we might call daily adaptive sectioning per subject. This will increase the relevance and focus of learning and teaching within each section multifold. Education 4.0 will therefore integrate the best of the physical and digital world naturally. It will give deep insights to teachers to make the most of their classroom teaching hours. And the best part is that the teachers don't have to even worry about giving homework or correcting homework or tests. AI will take care of all that through its digital platform. They just need to know which students are struggling with which set of concepts and which adaptive section has to be taught which concepts. Another very important component of a hybrid education system is a peer-to-peer -peer learning platform. If a student in some remote corner of the world is struggling with a particular concept and another student who has really mastered that concept in another corner of the world can be connected, then the students can do one-on-one -on -one teaching of concepts to each other via a very intelligent matching algorithm. This uberization of education will bring about another revolution in our education system. We may call it learn to teach and teach to learn. Only when we are able to teach a concept to someone else can we really say that we have mastered it well. Such a culture of peer-to-peer -peer learning, either physically in schools or online, will improve communication skills empathy levels, social responsibility, and cooperativeness among students, instead of today's mindset of cutthroat competitiveness among them. So in Education 4.0, students will go to the physical schools to be part of adaptive sections, do peer-to-peer -peer teaching, and other physical-only activities, such as playing games together, doing hackathons together, building startups together, brainstorming ideas together, doing a play or an orchestra or a debate together and so on. But they will never go to a school to listen to a lecture like in the traditional classrooms. 
Education 4.0, as we have envisioned here, can clearly blend the physical and digital parts of education seamlessly. We hope that as we are ushering in a new era of education via the new national education policy, we also explore with an open mind the possibilities that digital and AI thinking can bring to Education 4.0. As teachers, parents, students and policy makers, we have a unique opportunity before us if we just ask the right questions and imagine the new possibilities for the future generations. Thank you.